Hey, man. We done came a long way from that big knob, man. <laughs> All monitor controllers are not created equal. <laughs> YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com and if you don't know yet, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and visit my website, WavyWayne.com, where I've created some session templates for recording and mixing that will help you get the sound that you are actually looking for a whole lot quicker, all right? Now, today's video, man, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here so I won't get fine type vibe. But, you know, we've been adding a lot of gear to the studio, upgrading everything, trying to get the most premium sound and premium quality that we can out of this studio, man. And big shout out to everybody who's been helping and following along with the channel so far. Um, but I got a new monitor controller, man. This is the Grace Design M905 monitor controller that's sitting in this box right in front of me. And I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna unbox it together today. And then I'm gonna get this set up. And, and over time, you know, we'll, we'll discover and I'm gonna actually do a comparison video to compare between the monitor controller that I've been using for the last few years, my Presone Essential Station, that was about, I think it was about 700 bucks, uh, versus this one that's, uh, I think it's a little bit over $3,000, man. So we are gonna compare what 700 bucks sounds like versus this $3,000 monitor controller, and we'll see like, is it even worth going this route, all right? Or can you just rock out with something like a Presone Essential Station? For me, the Central Station has been perfect all along, but since I had the opportunity to get the Grace Design M905, I was like, how could I pass that up, all right? So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see what we got. I ain't got my unboxing knife, so if you know I'm using the key, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got the big red key on there. Don't worry about that, all right? <laughs> Let's get this thing open. I'm really excited though to see the difference, man. The main thing that I really like about this, one of the main things that actually drew me to this model was the actual remote. The remote on here is leaps and bounds above what the remote is on the Presone Essential Station. It's got that uh, L LED, LCD, is it one of those? It's got the LCD display. It's got an SPL meter built right into the remote. Dang, it's boxes on boxes. All right, I guess this is how you want your, your package to come. But even more boxes. Accessories. All right, let's see what's in this box labeled accessories right here. Dang, this would have been good. I'm, I left my, my unboxing knife in my, in my car. I had to open something up. Okay. I like them, man. They give me the user manual on a little USB thumb drive right here inside this little case right here. So that's nice. This box contains all the, the cables that we need. We got a power cable. Um, what else we got? This looks like the cable probably, the long one's probably to the remote. There's also a USB cable to connect to the computer. You got a couple of rack screws in here because the, the main unit is rack mounted. So we're gonna need that. Let's see what we got in this box that's labeled accessories. Ooh, now you know they got two color choices, right? They had the silver and the black. Guess which one I got? Did I get the silver or the black? That's right, you know me, I got the black one. We blacking out everything. Let's take a look at this remote. I'm running out of space on my desk already after I added the knee fader pack, so hopefully I'll have some space to put this joint. But yeah, look at that remote, man. That's the remote for the new monitor controller. Got the L LCD screen on there. You can have three speakers, you got your sub, got your dim. You got a talk back built right into here. You even got a headphone um, jack on the back. This thing got a little feet, right? So it can prop up. 
like that, give you a little angle so you, you can see it nice and clearly. I normally don't rip the, the plastic off of the screen, but I'm going to do it today, you know? That's just for y'all, man. Make sure y'all hit a thumbs up on this video because I ripped that plastic off for you. But yeah, ooh wee. This thing definitely going to take some little setup for sure. I'm going to have to check it out and, and, and learn everything about it. We're going to sit that thing right there. Dang, that thing is big. All right, and then we got one more piece to the pie. Okay, I like they they got real creative with the with the packaging on here. It's like a little shock absorber. But uh, here's the main unit. It takes up two rack spaces. Super uh, simple, clean design on the front. All we have is a, a headphone output and a little power uh, button on the front, but on the back, this is where, ha where you have all your connections for your inputs and outputs, the various uh, inputs and outputs that you might be using for the different uh, speakers that you're using, and then all the different input connections that you may have. So we have AES-1, AES-2, so we have digital and analog options for the input. We got Q outputs, we got three different speaker outputs, Q inputs, Man, you got the talk, you can add an additional talk back microphone if you want to. You got the remote over here. You have uh, a USB um, slot right here, but yeah, this is it, man. This is official tissue. This is the Grace Design M905 stereo monitor controller. And I'm about to get this joint set up and see what the difference is between this and my pre the Central Station. See if I can hear any difference in fidelity and all of that. So. That has been a quick unboxing. I'm super excited, ready to get this thing set up in the studio, get all my monitors routed through here. And yeah, man, so I'll catch y'all on the next video. Maybe not the next one, but on a future video. And let y'all know my real thoughts of how I'm actually rocking with this Grace Design M905. And if I think it's actually worth the upgrade coming from something like a PreSony Central Station or a Mackie Big Knob, something like that, all right? Don't forget to visit the website wavywayne.com where I have custom session recording and mixing templates that'll help you to record and mix better and faster. And the limited, the limited edition Wavy One studio headphones have just dropped too. So make sure you copy a pair if you haven't already. And um, what's that one thing I always say on the video? Be dope.